Welcome back everyone to another Watch Spotlight here at Watch Zone Wall Street. I'm Connor and I'll be your watch guy today. Today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. I'm bringing you this very unique, very interesting DeVille Chronoscope. It's from the Omega brand, part of their DeVille line, which I've personally found to be kind of like the red-headed stepchild of their lines. A lot of people give them a lot of love and I think that's super wrong because they have some awesome hidden gems in the DeVille line like this one here in front of me. You got a 41 millimeter stainless steel case, sapphire crystal and case back. So you can see the beautiful 3612 in-house Omega movement that this thing has. It is actually also a discontinued model. So you can't get this directly from Omega anymore. So it's a super unique, super cool Omega that you can't find very easily anymore. It does come with a deployment clasp, as I always recommend, if you're gonna do something with a leather strap, just saves you from wrenching and pulling on your leather all the time, wearing it out. And then as I mentioned, just look at that beautifully finished movement in there. Um, and then one more unique thing about this, as y'all can probably plainly see, is the actual subdial setup. So, as with most chronographs, you have an active second hand in a subdial, that's over here at nine o'clock, got a minute counter over here at three o'clock, but then you get this weird little half sub dial down at six o'clock for your hour counter. And if you get in real close on this, you'll notice one half of the hand is longer and one half of the hand is shorter. So actually the bottom part of this little upside down rainbow will be the first part to record the hours with this watch. And they've denoted the, uh, the odd ones on it. So one, three, and five. And then as it makes a nearly half rotation, around the little sub dial, that's when your smaller side hand will come in. And then you'll start counting the latter half of your 12 potential hours. Uh, and they've denoted the eight and the 10 on the actual sub dial itself. So it's a really unique build, really unique look. If you're trying to find uh, an Omega that's not just your standard Speedmaster or even like a Seamaster chronograph, this is the one to pick up. Super cool, super unique. Come check it out, y'all.